of an elephant bull in front of us now. I think this is the one I saw earlier. We'll just stop here. My goodness, he is big. He is a tall elephant. And first things first, just as I'm looking at him in this, this sort of dying light, secretions from the temple glands. And I think I can see wet behind his back legs, which means that this boy is in must. Yes, there we go. You can see the wet patches. So we won't be getting on his bad side today, but he is so tall. You know, we often see elephants that are really massive in size, sort of around the shoulders, around and around the midsection, a big head, a trunk as thick as my entire body. But you don't often get to see them that they're so tall like this. So this is actually really interesting. Like I said, when we first passed through, all the bulls were pushing and shoving. There were two that were having a particular big battle. And I can hear the breeding herd just off to the left. So I wonder if he's come through already and settled it down and chased the boys away. Because the other bulls we saw weren't as big as him. And they definitely weren't in must. You might not be able to hear that. He's listening. You see how he stopped, how he's smelling. But there were some elephants probably a couple kilometers from here that were screaming and shouting. Maybe down towards twin dams. So that's what he was just listening to there. Now, of course, that doesn't really demonstrate how good an elephant's hearing is because I was even able to hear it. And, of course, it was a, a loud trumpeting sound. It could have actually even just been a calf trying to suckle and mom saying no, one throwing a tantrum. But who knows? But he definitely took some interest in that. Now, he hasn't, like I said, I don't know if he's gone in already, but the rest of the herd is probably about 50 meters from him. No, I'm not going, like I said, when he comes down towards us, we're going to move out of the way. Hello, big boy. I'm just going to give him a bit of room because we've got the camera to zoom in on him. We don't need to get close to him. Hello, big chap. He's not a small elephant. Right, this is so cool. And he's got an e very uneven tusks. His right tusk is sort of growing towards the ground and his other tusk is growing out. Now, we're fine, of course, if you are worried about this elephant bull coming towards us he's just walking and like I said there's just no need to agitate an elephant bull when he is in must because his temper is uh, well a lot shorter than what it normally is elephants are very tolerant creatures especially because of their size I think that they know that there's not many things out here that uh, will really bother them how cool is this and he's not showing any threat signs either he's just it's like he's being that he hasn't decided to go into a trot. I'm going to stop actually right here. Oh, this is my favorite. Look how he's curled his trunk. Now he's picked up into a bit more of a... This is a... That's a typical must bull walk. But he's not charging us or anything, so don't panic. I'll let you know when to panic. When I start going pale and my knuckles are clenching to the steering wheel, that's normally a good sign. But what I'm hoping is going to happen is he's actually going to go past us and then we can carry on. We can go and view the breeding herd. Let's see what he does. He stopped again. Some thunder, rumbling in the distance. Now, big boy, I wish elephants had uh, turn signals, or in South Africa we call them indicators, so he could let us know if he was going to be going straight or if he was going to be turning right down Pangolin Track, because I could then make my move. And it's so funny, did you see that elephant at the back sort of like sneak across the road? That was really funny, is it just say, he's not looking, everybody, come, 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 cross quickly, cross the road. And hopefully we'll be able to catch that lot, otherwise we'll have to go back down towards Twin Dams and see where the rest of the herd is. Hmm, now we wait, because it's a bit too close to try and sneak past an elephant, that's in must. And I can't see him, he's hiding behind a couple of worry bushes at the moment, he's very camouflaged. He's probably just waiting there in the pounce position. And he's going to jump out onto top of us. So what do you think, Liam? 